Hi guys, it's Lita, and that's my dog. So when I woke up this morning, I, for some reason, felt just really off and kind of negative. And I was just thinking about it, and I think that it's, it's like really, really distorted like what's okay to feel and what's not okay to feel. The truth is that it's okay to feel anything. Like, I don't think that's really said enough. Just the fact that whatever you're feeling, that's that's it. Like that's that's just how you're feeling right now. You don't have to try and change it. You don't have to like try and control it or force it. That's what's naturally happening to you. That's what you naturally feel. Um, and that's okay. I guess this morning when I woke up and was just in a really, really bad mood. I was kind of like disappointed in myself. I kind of just made myself feel really guilty about it. Um, but the truth is, you really don't have to feel guilty ever about what you're feeling, no matter what it is. Um, you know, whether you're in a good mood or a bad mood or anything, that's just how you are that day and how you are at this very moment. And you know, there will always be people who, um, you know, particularly like parents and stuff and like teachers and from what I've noticed sorry who say you know like oh stop being so down you know stop being so negative and you know just be happy as if that's like something that's entirely possible for everyone so I guess this is just um, to say that like if you feel sad or if you feel alone if you feel like the world is against you, if you feel angry at the world, if you feel just anything, no matter what you're feeling, just don't feel guilty about it and don't let anyone else put guilt on you. And I also kind of wanted to touch on a different subject. This is brought to my attention almost every single day and it's, it's on my mind every single day. If you can't stay clean and if you slipped up and ended up hurting yourself in any way, I'm not just talking about like, you know, cutting or burning or bruising, any self-destructive behavior that you've taken part in. Don't be disappointed in yourself. Um, don't be upset with yourself. It happens to all of us who go through things like that. And, you know, this is just a coping mechanism. And sometimes you really can't control it. Um, and I know that a lot of you who do use self-harm as a coping mechanism want to be able to stop and that you want to be able to control it, I understand that it's not something that you can really, really um, grasp control on. I mean, I of course don't want to know that you're hurting yourselves, but I understand, um, I know that it just happens sometimes, and I just, I just wanted to get that message across that don't be disappointed in yourself for that. It's okay to slip up. If you slipped up today or yesterday or last week or five minutes ago or anything like that, it's okay. And you can always start again. You can always try again to just stay clean. It's all right. I just wanted to let you know that um, you're definitely not alone in that. There's thousands and thousands of people just like you who are going through the exact same thing. And we understand and we are there for you. And I just wanted to let you know that there is no reason to be ashamed. There's no reason to feel guilty for doing this to yourself. There's no reason to feel guilty for being sad or angry or whatever. And you can always try again and you can always grow. There's always room to grow. There's always time to get better. And there's always the possibility to. I know that sometimes you might think that, you know, just you specifically can't get through this and that you don't have the power and the will to go forth and stop yourself from doing things like this but I'm telling you you can um, it's gonna take it's gonna take some time and it's going to take a few attempts like there's always going to be some times when you slip up and you mess up and you know you're gonna want to be disappointed in yourself and you're gonna want to tell yourself that you can't do it and you're gonna want to try and give up don't don't give up just get right back up and try again start over from day one it's okay you're definitely not alone and I will be there for you guys as much as I possibly can and for those of you who have been clean for even a day I'm really proud of you and for those of you who have made it to a couple months I'm so freaking proud of you and for those of you who've made it to a year I'm so proud of you and like beyond that so proud of you and I want you to know that I will always be proud of you and I'm always gonna be there for you guys as much as I possibly can and um, that you're just you're just not alone in in that and I know that it's something that's really hard to deal with um, it's it's really inexplainable unless you've dealt with it yourself and um, I just like I don't know I just uh, I'm always gonna be there for you and 
I'll always understand. And um, I'm just really proud of you guys for even trying. And I just hope that this serves as some encouragement um, to keep trying. Because I know that you guys can do it, every single one of you. Um, you specifically can do this and you will make it. I promise you. Oh, my contact just moved. But I promise you, you'll be okay. All right? Pinky promise. Put your pinky up to the, yep, yep. Okay, we're pinky promising, all right? I pinky promise you'll be able to do it and I will be with you the whole way thinking of you. I truly believe in you and I'm truly proud of you for trying as hard as you can, okay? I don't know, I just, I just want you to, I want all of you to be happy, but I know that that's not realistic sometimes. Um, and that's okay, so. I love you guys with all my heart. Seriously, I, I like, I don't have words for that, but um, yeah, and I'm, I'm proud of all of you and thank you for motivating me to just keep going. And, yeah. Okay, I love you guys and please remember to smile. Okay, I love you. Bye.